there's been a lot of optimism priced in over the last few weeks here, right. uh, given everything that's happened with the, the non-OPEC and the OPEC meetings uh, and the, the success that has come out of those and, and the euphoria. But um, there's a few things actually about the, those meetings that have been kind of key for me. Right. So uh, I was back on here early in November yeah. and I said that uh, Saudi was going to bamboozle the market. Uh, and they kind of have done. Mm -hmm. uh, and what we've seen from them really is just they've sprinted to, to the end of October in terms of their production. All of, all of these guys have done that, so they've got to this kind of record level. We've also got um, all these guys that can do maintenance, and so they can forward this maintenance over the next six months. So they say, OK, we're going to cut back, uh, but really they're just going to go into maintenance. And then with the non-OPEC deal that we've had, we've had uh, Mexico who have said, OK, we'll, we'll cut by 100,000 barrels a day. Uh, but that's a natural decline. And right. so they're, they're going to be dropping back by 100,000 barrels a day over the next year anyway. Same with Azerbaijan. So, so you think we're a little high, a little too high right now? No, I think the, the fact that if we did see 1.8 million barrels a day come offline in the next sort of uh, six months, then, then prices are probably justified at around 55. So but if they don't cheat. Well, there's going to be a certain degree of cheating going on. Right. But what, what they've done is uh, these guys have come together and said, OK, we'll go, and we'll go for 1.8. They haven't gone for like half a million or a million. They've said, right, you know, let's go for shock and awe on the expectation that some are going to cheat. But right. even then, there's going to be a, a good volume come offline. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.